the best electric bike for short women. Stick around to see it. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I'm really 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today I'm gonna to show you the best electric bike for short women. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we're doing, and of course, new product releases. This is the Every Journey 500 watt electric bike. You can find it linked in the description below. This is a very cool e-bike because it has what's called a forward pedaling design. This allows the seat to be very low to the ground, but you still get ample leg extension when riding because the pedals are moved forward. What this means is it's great for shorter women because they can still get on and off, have their feet on the ground because of how low the seat is, but still get ample leg extension when riding. Now this is a 500 watt electric bike, so you can hit top speeds of 20 miles an hour with just the throttle. It has a throttle and a pedal assist option also can get you up to 50 miles on a single charge. So it depends on how you use the pedal assist or the throttle. So we've got Lisa who's gonna come in the scene here and Lisa's five foot four. She actually rides the Every Journey and we're gonna show you how she sizes up and fits on this e-bike so you can get a sense of what may work best for you. Hi, Lisa. Hello. <laughs> All right, so you've got the seat. Do you wanna go ahead and get on? We've got the seat as low as it will go now. We're gonna show you so now Lisa at five foot four, you can see she's got her feet uh, totally flat on the ground. And let's also try this. Let me put the pedal backwards really quick. Okay, now go ahead and put your foot on the pedal. So you can see, we actually could probably raise the seat up a little bit. Now, the beauty for the every journey, if you're a little bit shorter, you don't have to have your feet on the ground, uh, flat on the ground. What it's gonna allow is shorter riders around five foot can still get uh, on and off easily and ride easily, but your foot may not be able to be exactly flat on the ground, but still lower to the ground than you would be on a traditional frame e-bike. So let me show you, let me go ahead and raise the seat up a little bit. And we'll show you that with Lisa at 5'4", we can raise the seat up a few inches. And what I wanna show you is that if you were five feet, that you'd be able to get the seat where you need it to be. Okay, so. Lisa at 5'4", we could probably put the seat right about here, about another two or so inches. Go ahead and try that. Okay, so now you can see she's up on the ball of her feet. Now this would be how you traditionally have your feet um, when riding. You'd be up a little bit farther on your toes, but you can see she's still relaxed, ample riding, uh, ample leg extension. So now you can see, actually we've got the seat up a lot further than I anticipated. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and hop off, I'll just measure this really quick. So I raised the seat up for Lisa. Okay, so that's three inches. So if you lowered this back down to about three inches, you could see that somebody five foot, five foot one could also fit. Now, the inseam has a lot to do with it as well. I don't know Lisa's inseam or where we fit into the averages with that. Uh, but somebody 411 could also fit depending on your inseam. But definitely riders five foot four to five foot one will fit on the every journey. Five foot 411 depends on your inseam. If you need some guidance on that, uh, you can reach out to us at 630 or put a comment below and we can help you with it as well. Um, we'll go ahead and just measure this for you as well really quick. Um, the seat at the highest point or sorry, the seat height at the high or the lowest point is 29 inches, and the top of the seat clamp is 27 and a half inches, and the step over height here is just about 19 and a half inches. So, and then Lisa, why don't you show them one more time how you get on and off? So you can step through, slide on and you're off and running. And you love your e-bike, right? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> she really loves being low to the ground. You can see the handlebars come into her body. It's super easy to steer. Very comfortable. Very unique frame too. If you're a shorter woman looking for something you can feel safe on, feel comfortable on, and make sure you have that confidence while riding, the Every Journey is definitely that e-bike. 
So any other questions at all, please comment below or reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. Don't forget, this is linked in the description below. And also we have a 30 day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love it in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. We're also gonna warranty everything for the first year. Parts labor will take care of it to make sure you can keep riding. Lastly, be a part of our peddlers group over on Facebook called the 630 Peddlers. There's thousands of members in there. Ask questions about other riders that have the every journey, their height, what worked for them so you can get comfortable prior to purchasing. Then when you have your bike, post in a group, make friends and download our apps. So you can track your rides on the app and compete on the leaderboard. It's so much fun. So thank you for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey or experience, enjoy the ride.